Good morning and welcome to TransWest Truck Trailer RV in Frederick, Colorado. I'm Brian Moritz. Today I get to do a really exciting video for you. We have a brand new 2022 Renegade Explorer 38 EMB. So this is a brand new model for Renegade. Um, this is, if not the first one, one of the first five that have ever been produced. Now this particular unit is sold. So when we go into it, we'll see some of the customer's possessions in it. They actually just finished their walkthrough for their delivery this morning. But I wanted to get it out there before they take, take it. They're going back up to Canada with it later this week. So while we're kind of panned out there, just for everyone to reference, the exterior paint scheme on this is midnight. So this is the midnight paint scheme, kind of a nice black, gray, silver, uh, really, really good looking paint job here. We'll start by walking around the outside and then we'll head inside and show you everything. So in the first compartment, just a nice big storage compartment. So right now we're going to see the slide locks in here. You can put these in while you're traveling down the road just to make sure that your slide doesn't shift. Now notice this is carpet lined. We do have an option to put kind of a rhino lining type material in there, like a bed liner. I'm kind of in between of which one I would like. Um, the carpet's easy to vacuum. The rhino lining's easy, just shove a pressure washer in there and go to town if you spill something. But that carpet will keep things from rattling around and sliding while you're driving down the road. Notice all of these baggage doors are, are going to be side swinging baggage doors. That's really helpful if this slide was out, we don't have to lift it up and then try and duck underneath the door. It is also dual hinges, dual slam points, which just makes a very nice closing door. Back behind that one. Now, this is something that we actually added. This is gonna be the Dometic refrigerator freezer. Now, this was something that the customer requested to put it in this bay. I'll show you where it would be if we ordered it from the factory. But this one's just a single side. Right now it's set as a freezer, but you do get to choose the temperature on this refrigerator freezer as well. And it is on a nice slide out tray. So if this slide was out, you would still be able to access the things inside of that refrigerator freezer. Behind that, we've got the AquaHot 450D with engine preheat. So this is gonna provide our heat and hot water. This is also gonna provide heat down in our sewer bay to keep our water lines from freezing up if we're winter camping. Coming back. So this is a big three quarter pass through bay. Now, if you order the factory option from Renegade for that refrigerator freezer, this is going to be the, the bay that they put it in. That kind of eats your only three quarter pass through. This is your longest, deepest storage bay. So that's why the customer requested we put it in the front rather than in the back. But that is completely up to you. And in the very back, more storage. Now in this one, we're going to see the toolkit for our central vacuum system. Up top is also the central vacuum. So this is where you can either one, turn it on and off or use a, or change your filter bags, things like that, all in this compartment. Toolkit for the central vacuum and then Renegade throws in some extra tiles just in case you ever drop something, one cracks for some reason, you always have spares. You don't have to go searching for, the, or trying to get them from the factory. Coming around to the back, up top we've got a full color HD camera. Now when you put it in reverse, you will also get grid lines. So you kind of have a reference of how far you can back up. LED tail lights, reverse lights, marker lights. Down below, three inch receiver, 20,000 pound towing capacity. Now Renegade does throw in the ball, so, and the pin. So it's a three quarter inch pin. And then the ball has a two inch ball as well as a two and five sixteenths, just depends on what you need. All you gotta do to uh, use the two and five sixteenths, pull the pin, flip the ball over, and then put it back in. We've also got camera prep for a stack of trailer. So if you have a trailer that has a backup camera, we can actually feed that directly into the cab. Seven way for your trailer brakes, trailer lights, or if you're towing a vehicle. And then over here, we've got air connections just in case you were gonna be pulling a trailer that had air brakes. We are completely prepped for that as well. Coming over onto the driver's side, the very back compartment, we've got the 50 amp power cord on a reel. It's a manual extend, power retract, 36 foot cord. When you're done camping, push the button, 
and away she goes. That's pretty standard on all Renegades. Notice there is a hole in the bottom of the floor there so that we can run the cord through the floor and still be able to shut this door. Ford of that Onan 8,000 watt quiet diesel generator. Now that is gonna pull diesel fuel directly off of your 120 gallon fuel tank, the same one that's used for the engine. Next bay, this is gonna be our water bay. So in this bay, we're gonna see a whole house water filter, a water hose reel as well. So pull out, manual pull, power retract, low point drains, the pull valves for our black and gray tank dumps, and then a fill valve. Also just a little bit of hose storage if you're just using the standard RV hose, the three inch hose. Now in this next compartment, actually the next two compartments, we're going to see our gray and black tanks up on the top, as well as our dump port down below. Something else that this customer requested was a macerator pump for his gray and black tank dump. Like I said, he's going to Canada. They use a little bit different dump systems than we do here in America. Now, this is just a twist on flow jet macerator. Comes with a 10, 10 foot um, hose to dump it. If you wanted a longer hose, it would not be that hard to put on. But we did put that on here at the dealership. Per, uh, as the customer requested. And then the last bay is going to be the battery bay for this 2022 Renegade Explorer. So this coach does have the upgraded 270 amp hour Dragonfly lithium batteries. Now that's 270 amp hours each, totaling 810 amp hours of battery power, and they are lithium batteries. With that, back in this corner, you'll see the Jaboni solar controller. This coach is also equipped with 525 watts of solar. And then over to the left of that, we'll see the Magnum 3000 watt inverter, which is gonna convert that 12 volt battery power into 110 volt so that we can use our outlets for things like our fridge, charge our phones, whatever you need. And then last but not least on the left, we've got three 12 volt batteries. Now those are gonna be our chassis batteries. All they're used for is just starting that engine. All right, so coming forward, we're gonna see the biggest difference between a Renegade Explorer and a Renegade Verona LE, and it's all in the chassis. So instead of the M2106 that we see on the Verona LE, we've got the Cascadia P4 chassis. Let's go ahead and open this hood up. Now, instead of the Cummins, ISL 9 that we see on a Verona LE. We've got the Detroit DD 13, which is going to produce 505 horsepower, 1,850 foot-pounds of torque. So a lot more power. So if you're trying to decide between a Verona LE and a Renegade Explorer, if you're planning on towing close to that max capacity, 20,000 pounds, you might want to look into the Explorer. Yes, it's more money, but you're going to get more power, more torque, and the biggest thing is on the back side of this, we've got the Allison uh, TRV 4000 transmission, six speed automatic, just like the Verona LE, but it's the bigger model meant for carrying more weight. Now, back underneath the driver's side door, in this little hidden compartment, we got a 120 gallon diesel fuel tank. Directly next to that, we've got our DEF tank. The last time I did a video on the Renegade Explorer, someone asked, is there a way to lock this? I have not come up with one, but we can get locking fuel caps for the diesel fuel tank. One thing I always love about Freightliner chassis is when you go to close this big hood, we do have gas prop assist. So it'll close nice and slowly. In fact, when it gets to this point, you kind of have to push down on it to get it to close all the way. You don't have to hold on to it and risk getting pulled up over the top of the RV. Now also in the front, We've got the Detroit Assurance Package. It's gonna be on guard uh, collision mitigation, so adaptive cruise control, as well as lane keeping assistance or lane departure warning system. So if you're driving down the road and you start to drift over across the line, it's gonna play an audible sound to warn you, make sure that you stay in the middle of the lane. 
There is a way to disable it if you're that kind of person like me. And I'll show you that once we get into the cab. Now, also on the Cascadia P4 chassis, we've got this blind spot monitoring. Now it's just gonna be right here underneath the passenger side door. The reason being is this is so tall that if you're sitting in the driver's seat, you would not be able to see a car if it was sitting right here. So you might turn over into it. Well, they put the blind spot monitoring just to make sure that you stay safe. So before we go inside, I wanna talk about another thing on this Renegade Explorer. So it does come standard with the Firefly system, just like a lot of Renegade products do. But with that Firefly system, we do have an app control, something I haven't talked about in a long time. So from the outside of the motorhome, go ahead and hit extend. I can go ahead and extend and retract all these slides. Now this comes in handy. Let's just say you pull into a parking or a camping spot. It's a little tighter than you expected. You can actually be out here visibly watching your slides while you're putting them out so you don't have to worry about running them into things. Just keep holding the button. So that's fully extended. Now I'm also gonna do this rear one. So the rear bedroom slide's coming out now. There's a ton of different things we can do with this app. Putting out slides, put out the awning. I can turn on the exterior lights from here. Um, it's not just slides. And when we get inside, I'll show you guys a little bit more of it and show you how it integrates with the Firefly panel. But pretty cool little system, really a good safety feature go ahead and head inside now and just so everyone can see it before I end the video I will go ahead and put all these slides back in just so you can see what it looks like closed up as well so right as you come in this door let's talk about Firefly so this is basically what I'm using on my phone right now. This is our Firefly panel. So from this panel, we can do anything we need to in control of this motorhome. So right now I'm looking at the home screen. I've got a light master on and off, really nice, right as you walk in the door. Over to the right of that, fresh gray and black water tank levels. Turn the water pump on and off. Turn the tank heaters on and off if we're out winter camping. That's for the gray and black tank. Turn on the aqua hot, whether it be electric, diesel, or the engine preheat. Start and stop the generator. If I click on the AGS, I'm gonna go to a different screen for this, but I can set up all my AGS. That's gonna be automatic gen start. So if I'm away from the coach and the batteries get too low, we can actually set it so that the generator just fires up, charges my battery, so I don't come back to a dead coach. Next screen, all of our lighting. Again, interior master on and off, front master on and off. We can also do rear lights as well as exterior lights. Climate control. So this is broken up into zones. So you've got front and then rear and then bay. So that bay where we saw the aqua hot or the um, gray and black tank dump, the fresh water hose, all that stuff, that is a heated bay. Now this is all in Celsius right now just because this coach is going to Canada. But I can put it back to Fahrenheit if I wanted to. But we can control both our 215,000 BTU air conditionings or our aqua hot all at this Firefly panel. TV lifting up and, up and down for the front, which I'll show you in a minute. And then slide on slides and awning controls as well as our leveling system. So coming forward, we're just gonna kind of work our way back. We'll get to the cab very last. Up above the cab, Nice big storage compartment. Now in this compartment, we're gonna see the control for our wine guard traveler. So that's how we're gonna turn on and off the satellite. There's a couple different options for satellites on this coach. You could do the in motion RTT 20B, or as this customer opted, we've got the wine guard traveler, which is a stationary HD satellite. Also have our awning controller. So if you're ever having an awning issue, this is actually the control module for it right here in this front cabinet. And then a nice shelf. Forward of that, another kind of storage compartment here, cab ceiling lights, 
right here we've got the equalizer system so that's going to be for our four point hydraulic leveling now that can be controlled from this app as well there's also a separate app for the equalizer system that if you wanted to download you could but i find it easier just to use the firefly app and then an empty cabinet just for whatever you need two 110 volt outlets coming back into the living room four cabinets going across the top Ooh, sorry now down below that we've got the 72 inch sofa sleeper there is an option for apex theater seating if you would prefer that now every window in this coach is going to be a dual pane tinted window they're also storm windows so they pop out rather than sliding so that if it's raining or something outside you don't have to worry about water getting in now every renegade explorer will also come with mcd manual shades so that's going to be your day shade and then your privacy nightshade as well coming back into the kitchen area we've got the samsung 1.7 cubic inch or cubic foot convection microwave so that will double as an oven two compartments two cabinets now in there right now you're going to see all of the manuals you're going to get renegade manuals uh, freightliner manuals and then down below solid surface countertop two bowl under mount sink and then with the all electric coach you do get the two burner true induction cooktop something I really like about the Renegade Explorer is we have a true tile black backsplash and it's involved enough that you can even pick the grout color for that tile backsplash two outlets on the back side of the countertop as well a bank of six drawers underneath that countertop notice that all your drawers are going to be quiet closed soft closing and then a big cabinet underneath the sink and like I said these customers do own this so they gave us permission to do the video but there is some of their stuff in it and that's just going to be the gift bag now when you buy a coach at trans west in the winter being that we're in colorado and we freeze often we do throw in two supplemental heaters just in case Whoop. kind of a cool little hidden pantry here now renegade did a really good job of using every little bit of space available to make cabinetry for or er, space for the kitchen another really big cabinet all these shelves are adjustable up and down as needed and then on the opposite side there's going to be some food in here but we've got the 18 cubic foot residential refrigerator so that is a purely electric refrigerator now notice that the light is on there's food in there it that refrigerator is on and running and I'm using that 3000 watt inverter to do that you do not have to run the generator to run the uh, refrigerator while you're driving down below we've got the refrigerator drawer there is an ice maker in this as well and then very important we've got locks on both the refrigerator and the freezer drawer to make sure things aren't flying around down below uh, so we've got another solid surface countertop here really kind of a nice flexible space you could use it for food prep you could use it for you know just storing stuff but down below that countertop three really big drawers again all quiet closed dovetail construction three really big drawers just for added kitchen storage Man, question, question okay does the cooktop come out? The cooktop, okay, so we just got a question. Thank you for asking the question. But no, on the Renegade, the cooktop, the question was, does the cooktop come out? Um, no, on Renegades, the cooktop is not removable, unfortunately. All right, so back to where we were. Um, so up above that countertop is going to be our AV compartment. Now, if we were going to use that WineGuard Traveler, we could. this is where we would put our receiver for the satellite. So we've got an empty HDMI cord. We've got an empty uh, coax. 
And then down below that, we've got the Sony DVD player. Now there's also a big power supply down here, so there's plenty of power in that compartment to be able to plug in all those electronics. And then this one over here, just kind of flexible, do what you want with it. So going back to this app here, let's see. So from the app, now there's buttons everywhere where I could do this as well, but from the app, I can go ahead and raise this TV over here on the passenger side. So this is going to be a 50 inch Samsung HD TV and that it is going to be a smart TV as well. Notice we've also got the Samsung soundbar up behind it. So you get a little bit better sound quality than what you would normally get with a TV. Right in front of that, just the boot dinette. A little bit smaller, but it really gives the space a nice open area. So if you're only traveling with two people, this is a great option for a dinette. There are a couple different options as well. On the dinette, we've got one 110 volt outlet for either side and two USB ports for either side. I also like that we have cup holders here, so if we're driving and someone's sitting on that side, which is a legal place to sit, their stuff isn't sliding around on the table. And that's going to bring us back into the middle of the coach. All right, so right here in the middle, two more cabinets, just for additional kitchen storage is what I would be using them for. Right in the middle of that is our Firefly. And then a really, really big cabinet here. Now this one could definitely be flexible. You could use it for extra linens. There's a hanging rod up there. You could use it as cat kitchen storage, but these shelves are adjustable up and down as needed. And then down below that, we've got our circuit breakers and fuses for the coach. Um, so nice and out of the way. Everything that you need to access is in here. You don't have to go search outside for any equipment or any additional fuses or circuit breakers. Another question. Can you get ice and water in the door of the refrigerator? So ice and water, uh, the question is, can we get ice and water in the door of the refrigerator? Ice we cannot because we've got the French door style. So your ice tray is down here. Water see water is also not in the door of the refrigerator so this is the standard refrigerator that renegade puts into these coaches i do not believe that we'd be able to do ice and water in them Good. all right so back into the middle of this coach turn these lights on in the bathroom so back in the middle of this coach we've got the main bathroom or the bathroom. So this shower is actually an upgrade. The standard is going to be just a fiberglass shower pan. Now this customer did opt for the solid surface shower, which gives you kind of the nice tile inlay. It makes it feel like the high-end coach that it is. We've got the glass sl shower sliding door. It does have two, two latching mechanisms on it. So the one back here is your driving down the road latch. This one's just kind of you know, just walking around so it doesn't move. Really big storage. You can see what fits well in here is toilet paper right above the toilet. There is a towel rack right behind the toilet. And then down below, we've got the Sandy Marine macerating toilet. So when you push that, it's actually a pump that's going to pump water or the whatever's in the toilet into the tanks. Solid surface countertop, undermount sink. And then down below, another nice big cabinet with the toilet paper roll holder on the door. Coming back into the bedroom. So first things first, when you walk in here, this is a very, very big be bedroom. Now, right here at the base of the bed, we've got the connection for the central vacuum system. So that hose that I showed you in that back compartment, that hose will reach all the way to the front of this motorhome and obviously everywhere in here. Now this bed is a 66 inch wide, 
by 74 inch long queen bed. Up above, four cabinets. Just for additional storage. And then one of my favorite things for Renegade is directly under that bed, we've got the 150 gallons of fresh water. So two tanks, 75 gallons each equals 150 total gallons of fresh water. Now what's cool about this is one, it's inside, it's heated, it's insulated. Um, you don't have to worry about it freezing up. But two, this way is distributed evenly over the rear axle. Now just because we've been asked before, that the water system is not on this slide mechanism. This slide mechanism actually comes in over the top of it. So this slide doesn't have to move the weight of 150 gallons of water. Um, very important, that would be a, just a disaster. On the opposite side, really nice hanging storage. Now you have a total of three of these hanging storages. One there, and then two over here. Now with those storages, or with this size, we do have the removable bottom. So if you had things that were longer and needed to be hung and you didn't want them wrinkled, they would just pop right down in there. And then slides right back into place. Another solid surface here, phone, wallet, keys, that kind of stuff before you go to bed. There is two outlets here, so if you wanted to use your phone chargers on that countertop, you absolutely could. 32 inch Samsung HD Smart TV. So you could use your streaming services in the bedroom as well using Wi-Fi. Down below, kind of an empty cabinet there. And then this is another AV compartment. So we've got another HDMI cord and another coax for this TV. So you could actually put a receiver in here as well and be watching a different channel in here than you were up front. And then one more big wardrobe drawer. And over on the right side, a bank of three wardrobe drawers. And that's pretty much going to wrap up the bedroom. So, a couple things that I kind of breezed over but didn't completely talk about. So, first of all, while we were kind of talking there, I was on the app on my phone. I retracted these front slides. So this is the space that you're gonna have while you're driving down the road. I'm in the process of doing the bedroom as well, so you can see that. But I mentioned in the back, we've got 150 gallons of fresh water. Now your gray and black tank storage are gonna be 75 gallons each, 75 gray, 75 black. We've got two 15,000 BTU air conditionings on the roof. Those do have heat pumps in them as well. And also new for Renegade model, we actually have a heated tile floor as well. Now that is going to be an electric heated tile floor. You can change the heat or the intensity of it. It's a level one through five. Now we can do that either from the app on our phone or at the control panel right here. So this coach is now completely closed up. All of our slides are closed. So, I mean, right here, you have an easy 36 inches. At your tight point, I would say you still have a 24, well, no, 12, about 15 inches there. Plenty of room to walk through, get back to the refrigerator. This door will open completely. Get back into the middle bathroom. And then last but not least, we can still get to the bed. So something cool about this model, the 38 EMB, is your bed actually doesn't tuck underneath the cabinet at all. So you have the full length and width of your bed with all the slides, cl slides closed. So if you're just pulling over at a truck stop real quick, take a nap, you could actually use this full bed. Okay, so now we can talk about the cab of this Cascadia P4 chassis. So when you're ordering your Renegade Explorer, you have a couple different options for how you want your privacy in the cab. So this particular one has the pop-in shades. So this is what your night shades will look like. They literally just Velcro to the sides here. Very easy, and then they store, they just roll up and store very well. Now on the front, I have our day shade on, so this is gonna be kind of a solar shade, keep the sun from beating in. Um, 
Now this one actually just slides into a little rail up top here. Now there's a nightshade as well. It'll look just like the ones on the window. Um, you do have to put either one or the other on. You can't put them both on simultaneously, but they're easy enough to put on. Now, if you watch my Explorer video on the 40 ERB, you'll see the other option, which was the privacy curtain. So, all right, so I'm gonna go ahead and fire this up really quick. So I just started this uh, Renegade Explorer up. Now, some of this is gonna be in miles per hour, some of it's in kilometers. Actually, I'm just gonna swap it all back to miles per hour really quick. And that was very easy. Okay, so first thing that you'll notice that's different if you've been looking at Super C's is the Cascadia comes with the wing dash. So this is just a lot nicer setup. You know, instead of trying to search on a flat panel, everything's kind of pointed at me. So if I want to see my trans temperature, it's right there. Air pressures, that's going to be for trailers. But it just makes it all feel a lot more easy to look at. You're not searching for anything. Over on the dash here, for this Cascadia, we have controls for it on the steering wheel. We can look at things like our miles per gallon, the trip, the leg, move it over a little bit, digital speedometer, the driving assistance, that's gonna be that adaptive cruise control that speeds us up and slows us down as needed with traffic. And then the eco driver feedback, that's just gonna tell you how well you're doing. We've got the gauge view, so we've got oil, oil temperature, turbo PSI, transmission temperature, all digital, our rear axle temperature, air supply, the diesel particulate filter, it's just gonna tell you if it needs a regen, but that will happen automatically as well. Tire pressure monitoring across all six tires. The differential lock, now if I turn the differential lock on, which I'll get to, we just get a nice little indicator showing us that the rear axle is locked. And then all of our, or we actually have an alert screen as well, more so for technicians, but if you had an active fault, it would pop up right there on the screen. That way you don't have to, you know, wonder what your check engine light is for. It'll actually save the code right there. Now, also on the dash, we've got the tachometer, uh, speedometer, oil pressure, fuel level, as well as death level, air levels, and then water temperature. So over to the right, we've got the Garmin panel. Now this is going to be our navigation as well as our cameras. So if I go ahead and put this into reverse really quick, it's gonna pop up my backup camera. Oop, I pushed a button, that's on me. Well, it should pop up my backup camera. That's something that I'm definitely gonna have to have looked at really quick. But our backup cameras as well as side view cameras are gonna pop up on the screen. It is a nice clear picture. Now, for those of you who never had Renegades before or something I always like to add to them for my customers is going to be a second screen up top here. Now that's just gonna be dedicated to our cameras. So you would have a full-time rear view camera. It will also do our blinker cameras. Um, really does make it a little bit nicer not having to look at this one, just look up top. And then this one can be on your navigation, your radio, it never switches over. So to the right of that, we've got the Kurt integrated trailer brake. So adjust it up and down. Now, if you push on it, it's gonna change colors. It's just different modes of that brake, but that's how you're gonna adjust your gain level, your brake level gains and all that. Right here, we've got the truck or trailer camera selector. So that plug on the back that I said was prepped for cameras. This is where we're gonna choose which camera we're looking at. So if I go to trailer and we had the trailer back there, those cameras will be displayed on the screen or if you add the dedicated screen up top. Standard HVAC controls. And then down here, this is gonna be for trailer brakes if we have air brakes. This is just for air brakes on trailers. Really good switch here for those of you that pull trailers or vehicles. It's called light test. Basically, it's just gonna run through a sequence of all the lights on a loop. So you can be standing back behind it, looking at you know the trailer lights and even the uh, coach lights as well. Regen off. A footwell light, so if you ever drop something, you can be able to see it. Dome lights, your hazards, utility lights. Now, Renegade does this a little differently. The utility lights are actually your docking lights, which are gonna be backwards facing lights, so you can see where you're going as you're backing up into your camp spots at night. Traction control override. 
lane departure warning. So this is actually how you turn off that lane departure warning. We talked about it earlier. So basically, if you start drifting over a lane, the speaker on this side or on the right side, just depending on which side you're drifting, just makes this really big buzzing sound. I don't like it, um, but you put it, turn it off right there. It comes back on after 15 minutes. And then engine shutdown override. So if you were ever driving, let's just say in remote Arizona or remote Nevada, and you had a problem and the engine shut down, you can push this button and it'll actually let you start the engine. Now, it's always a good idea to go ahead and call a service center if you can before you just override it and keep driving because if it shut down, it shut down for a reason. So these are gonna be our parking brakes. So this is your trailer parking brake and this is going to be your uh, coach parking brake. That's just gonna release the air brakes. And then right here, is going to be our differential lock. What that's going to do is lock the rear end. So your two tires spin, or your four rear tires all spin at the same speed. Really, really good in you know slippery situations or if you're climbing a steep hill uh, at low speeds, you do not want to use it at high speeds and you want to be stopped before you engage it because that is an air locking differential. It's going to lock regardless if you're stopped or not, but just to keep wear and tear down, you want to be stopped. And then the last switch in this cab is going to be for the suspension height. So if I push this button, it's going to dump all of the air out of the rear airbags. So that comes in handy in a couple things. One, if you're backing it into a low garage. Two, if you need to level this motorhome out, this will take all of the air out of those bags to make it have to travel less, make the jacks have to travel less. And then once you're done, you just put it back in normal, it's going to lift that rear end back up. And then your standard cup holders. Now, these seats are new for the or were designed for the Renegade Explorer. A little bit nicer, very plush. It is a nice feeling fabric. Makes that cab a real pleasure to sit in, even for extended periods of time. And I think that's pretty much gonna wrap up my explanation of the 2022 Renegade Explorer 38 EMB. If you have any questions about this unit or any other 38 EMBs or ERBs, um, I've got the ERB video out as well. We'll put a link to that so you can see the other model of this. But you can feel free to give me a call. Again, my name is Brian Moritz with TransWest Truck Trailer RV in Frederick, Colorado. My phone number is 303-482-6375. Thank you guys so much for joining in, and we'll see you next time.